Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Security Speakeasy Show, where we talk about network security. And today, we're going to cover a topic that's of interest to a lot of security professionals around the world. We will talk about zero trust and what Palo Alto Networks offers to address zero trust for identity. And we have the right person to talk about on this topic. My name is Neha Kumar, and I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager at Palo Alto Networks. And joining me today is Brian Levin, who's our Product Line Manager for Identity and Access and is responsible for Cloud Identity Products and Initiatives. Brian, welcome to the show. Now, everyone in the industry and the media has been talking about zero trust. Can you tell us what exactly is zero trust and why are companies talking about it? Thank you, Neha. Thank you for having me on the show today. Uh, zero trust is a very hot topic within the industry, and specifically because the industry has changed and there's a lot more remote work going on. So zero trust is a policy where it's important to give least privileged access to all users. So that means that you must verify users' applications and devices on your network before allowing them to access any assets. This is becoming increasingly important because, of course, the network boundaries have changed and people are working from everywhere. Users and applications are spanning multiple products and services across multiple different locations. And it just makes it more and more important to really focus on zero trust and having zero trust policy in place. Uh, there's, it's been a huge focus recently because in the recent White House press announcement, they've recommended zero trust as a way to secure your networks and NIST and the US government have both come out with standards on how to implement zero trust. It's a focus here at Palo Alto Networks because we take a very holistic approach at the way we implement zero trust. A lot of other companies are looking at ZTNA or remote access of users as being zero trust, but we're focused on the end-to-end -end strategy of zero trust, which spans campus branch, remote users, of course, data centers, public, private cloud, and SaaS applications. Thank you, Brian. You know, you mentioned that one of the cornerstones of zero trust is to give your users access to all the applications they need with zero trust in mind. Can you elaborate on that? And how does that affect today's reality when we all are working from different locations? For example, right now I'm working from home and then very soon we're gonna go to the office two days in a week and then a few days we'll work from home. Um, and then we're moving to this hybrid work environment scenario. So what exactly is changing with the way networks are being deployed as the world is moving towards this distributed networks system? Yeah, if we go back like five years, or maybe even two years, or uh, a year and a half, uh, everyone was sitting in an office. And in that office, there'll be a single point of egress for internet, and that will have a single security stack. So the network was very simple. You would have a single source or a single active directory that will provide identity of all of your users. You would have all the data going through a single point, and things were simple at that time. Today, it's much different. People are working from home, sometimes the office, sometimes branches, sometimes a coffee shop. And with that kind of distributing the workforce, applications are spanning all of this all the time. And so it just becomes more and more important to have that consistent security experience, regardless of what applications you're using and what location. Absolutely. So at Palo Alto Networks, especially your team works mainly on identity-based capabilities. And we've been offering you know, user-based security for over a decade. How does this affect, in particular, identity, example, implementing and maintaining user-based security and authentication? Yeah, that's a great point. And if we can go back to the previous example, about in the last or two years ago, everyone was in a single location. Now it's that distribution. And with that distribution, that single Microsoft AD server that 90% of enterprises across the world were using is no longer applicable because we have um, we have applications that are on-prem, we have cloud applications, we have users everywhere. And so there's a couple trends that are really influencing identity and authentication throughout the network. One is of course on-prem and that's your on-prem AD server that is in your network. Second is something called hybrid identity where you have your on-prem 
AD, but then you also have a cloud service that synchronizes with it. So all of your on-prem applications would connect to your on-prem server, and all of your cloud applications would connect to the cloud instance of it. And that's called hybrid identity. And then there's multi-cloud identity, which is where you have multiple different cloud-based identity services. In typical enterprises today, those are all mixed. So think about having not just one, but two, three, four, possibly even 10 sources of identity in a single network. Absolutely, and I can see why that's a challenge. So as customers are trying to implement user-based security and implementing authentication, whether it's single sign-on or multi-factor authentication, using these multiple sources of identity information that you just mentioned, whether it's on-prem or cloud identity providers, what are some of the key challenges that you're seeing that organizations and security teams are facing today? Yeah, so the two key um, pain points that we're seeing security teams and identity teams really face as they deploy network security today is one is making sure that the right resource has that consistent experience when they come from many different locations. So I expect it access apps the exact same way if I'm at home or if I'm in the office or if I'm on my mobile phone in the coffee shop. And so that consistency through identity is key. The second is just maintaining authentication. And so with so many different locations and authentication sources is how do I make sure I have access to the right assets at any given time? And those are the key problems we see. Absolutely. So, you know, at, at Palo Alto Networks, our goal is to simplify security for our customers. What's Palo Alto Networks doing about this problem and how are we addressing the problem of simplifying user-based security and addressing zero trust for our customers? Yeah, here at Palo Alto Networks, a uh, holistic zero trust approach is top of mind with us. We have recently introduced a cloud identity engine, which is a brand new cloud service focused on solving this problem for, for the industry and for our customers. We focus on two elements, identity and simple authentication. From an identity point of view, what we do is we connect to both on-prem and cloud directory sources. We are able to, to pull all of the data and attributes together in a single source, and then serve that to all Palo Alto products, whether it's our firewalls, Prisma Access, XDR, our management systems. And then with all of that in a single place, we're able to ensure that our consistent security policy is issued. And so now I have that exact same experience. If I'm at home, if I'm in the office or anywhere else in the world, I am Brian and I have access to my apps. And that is what's key here. In addition to just the identification, we've solved the authentication problem too, where there's many different IDPs out there and those IDPs need to be configured as an SP for each of my different firewalls and cloud services. And so that means that it can take a network administrator or an admin uh, almost, almost a month to possibly even a year to configure a single IDP on their network. That's very painful and time consuming. We've reduced that into allowing you to bring a single IDP on within 10 minutes. And so these are the two ways that we just make the network a lot easier for customers as they migrate to zero trust. Yeah, Brian, that's really fascinating. And I hope our listeners are excited to hear how we're simplifying implementation of identity-based security with Cloud Identity Engine. And by the way, did I just hear 10 minutes? Yes, 10 minutes from a single IDP. That's very impressive. If you would like to know more about Cloud Identity Engine, check out the demos and the technical content that we have. You can either Google it or use the links in the description below. If you have liked the show, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and visit paloautonetworks.com. Thank you.